What yeah. about Hyundai? Because these ones, of course, are Korean, listed on the market there, and also by way of an ADR, not as well traded, rather thin, in the U.S. market. Remember, there is Hyundai Motor Group, which owns Genesis, Hyundai Motors, and a big chunk of Kia, but it's slightly complicated in typical Korean style with these kind of kaibols, which they will end up with multiple cross yeah, them and Samsung. Yeah. But as far as we can tell, it's got a market <coughs> capitalization of 36 trillion won, which if you turn that into uh, more intelligible money is about 30 odd billion dollars. Yeah, you divide that by 1,200. There you go. <laughs> Price to earnings ratio of 8.7, dividend yield of 2.92. It's basically halved in share price value over the last sort of four or five years though. Why is that? All right, so we need to understand where Hyundai's come from. From 2008 until now, they've actually taken the world market share from 4% to 6%. They've done incredibly nice well. Very, very nice job. So we kind of hit a bit of a brick wall at the moment, and this is where my whole concept of competition coming into account. So Hyundai, 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 however you want to pronounce it, major, major uh, market leader in uh, South Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, another big market for them is America, and American sales have been disappointing tremendously. Do they lead into that market with the Genesis high-end stuff, or more with the i10s, i20s, i30s type it's stuff? It's more the SUVs, ah. and this is where the problem the comes Tucson in. And the, Santa Fe the Tucson and the Santa Fe. The Tucson, the Santa Fe, the iX35, whatever you yeah. want to call it, even the uh, Sportage. Okay. Um, they don't have enough models within that market and I think what we need to understand the world is moving away from mid-sized family sedans to more upmarket SUVs or mid-sized compact yep. SUVs or very 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 small cars okay. and they operate in that lower end where you have your family sized sedan essentially and that's actually taken yes. quite a knock so to address that they've introduced a new vehicle called the Kona which okay. is similar in size um, to say a, a a Juke or a the new the new Toyota um, high rise what, what's it called this the HRV that funny okay. looking thing that looks like a Rav Four <laughs> and a, a Juke kind of were put together very very popular vehicles and that yeah. will help them um, you know in that market. So there's a bit the of American a turnaround story here. There's true, the but they've really really lagged. Kind of anxiety about Korea. Listen, we've run out of time. Oh, have we? Hot oh, goodness. Not no, I'm not hot. Um, you know, stewardship, you know, I mean, the CEO was charged and convicted of embezzlement. Uh, it's just not a good oh, picture, in my good. opinion. <laughs> uh, the vehicles are great. They've done a lot, but there, there's just not enough yeah. catalyst here for me to become excited at the moment. So I'm not hot okay. on Hyundai we'll at the moment.